Go for it. Would you mind if I join you guys downstairs? Please. Please join us. Awesome. Alrighty. Please do. Going down. Love when they so get I up close. So I know this may sound a little bit strange, but the end is the beginning. I brought with me a deck of cards. And this will make sense in just a few moments. Simon, a brand new deck of cards. Can you please unwrap the deck for me? Yeah. As if that makes a difference, but... Out. Perfect. And we'll take nice this out. Nice for the theatricality. A brand new deck of cards come factory sealed with sticker. And as you can see, every deck of cards come in brand new now, deck I noticed you didn't take off the cellophane. I wonder if Jokers. that's going to come back. And the add cards. We don't need those. All the cards, Simon, your shuffle, please. Give a deck a nice mix and shuffle. He's almost as good as Sophia. Yeah, with the shuffle. Yeah, he should have watched some of my tutorials. Sophia's that was. <laughs> Oof. Good? Perfect. Now watch closely. The first one, the Ace of Spades from Shuffle Deck. Oh, we're going we're gonna to pause that real quick. That was beautiful. Okay, now well, the thing with that is that's not since it, like he legitimately did shuffle that. He saw where the card was and then had to do it from the center. That oh my gosh of spades. That was pretty. And the rest. Oh, beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay, that control to the top. That control because he then controlled it right under them, the A's of spades. Had them those three picked. Oh my gosh. A few seconds. That was smooth. Each one of the aces is for each for that, of you. Not lie to you. The spade, the diamond, the clubs, and the hearts. You can see there's markers on the table. I want you to sign on the card nice and big so we know that these are the only aces that exist in this world with your name on Sign our well, name. Considering yes, they've all done nice this and big. tons of times, that might not entirely be Perfect. true, I'm but... take the cards. We'll roll with Caramel. it for now. The hearts. Pretty. The clubs. The diamonds. And the spades. That risk kill You know why most beautiful. people don't believe magic? It's because they haven't seen real magic. Watch closely. That bend in that right hand. Uh huh. Nice. As the first one travel. Road up banish, which I have taught. If you want to learn it. From invisible card. Beautifully done. From <gasps> so visible. gorgeous. I... Oh. You're kidding me. A gorgeous. <laughs> mm hmm. So pretty. Oh. So pretty. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm like, mm -hmm. we're in shock, we're in shock. I'm, yeah. Look, one last one, check this out. You're amazing. Can you please hold out your hands? Hold my hand out? Put your hand on top. Okay. I'm gonna take the deck, watch closely. Bit of a struggle there, but. Ace of hearts, this time in slow motion. One, two. Time out, time out. What? Somebody want to explain that to me? Okay, I've been a magician for eight years and don't know what the frick just happened. I've, I've got everything else up until this point. At least I think I do. I don't know what the frick just happened. Okay. Let me help, let me process this with you guys, because... <laughs> what? Okay, so this man just did the Erdnase change, basically. So, the Erdnase change is when you rub over the front of it and it disappears or it comes back. However, depending on how you want to do it. But this, when he did it, though, when he did it, it vanished, like, up the up the card. Like, it was like a transition vanish. So I can do it the other way, if it's, like, if it's going from the top of the card to the deck. That I can do. And then it makes it look like there's only half a card. That's not hard. I can do that, and I can teach you guys if you want to learn that sometime. But what I don't... <laughs> oh, I'm going to enjoy this. Holy crap. That was all right. Let's get back you to feel it. it. Lift up your hand. Lift the, up my hand. Yes. Open your hands. I mean, the ace yeah. of hearts. What? Yeah. The the devil beforehand was not. It's hard to find. Wow. How did that happen? That vanished though. Check this out. Tonight, I want you to leave you with a piece of mystery. <gasps> all Holy the aces crap. has your name on it. Oh, pretty. And I'll do it one more time. I don't know what the heck he's about to do, but in reverse. That cover up so is closely. gorgeous. Sophia, currently I loading. Mm -hmm. I want you to please lift up your hands. Hold out your hands. And I want to hold both your hands out like this. Extend them out. Face down, both hands. Both hands. 
Yes, nice perfect. cover. I want to cover on top, cover on top like this, perfect. Pull it nice and tight. You know, this may sound a little bit strange. No the peace. end is no the bleed. beginning. The beginning is the end. Ladies, slowly lift up your hands. We made it back. Oh! Yep. A brand new sealed deck of cards. It's really good. Wait, we've been here before. Simon, you know what to do. I know what to do. That's your job. Take out the cellophane. Take off the cellophane. Look, every brand yep. new deck of cards comes factory sealed with sticker. I take out all the cards out. No. And we're in there. You kidding? Still me. left the cellophane on just like last time. No. Brand new card. Ace to king. Ace to king. Ace to king. Except for one difference. The Still ace no Joker's red card. Has your name on it. Wait, not just that. Look, the ace. Oh, of the clubs, Jokers are in with there. With your That's name cool. on it. The ace of diamonds with Sophia's name on it. And the last but not least, Howie, your ace of oh, hearts. Thank you so much. Okay. Hope you guys enjoy the ride. So... Okay. So that means that if let's just get this straight because I don't know how the frick he did that either. Okay, so getting it back into the sealed deck, I'm assuming is going to be somewhere along the lines of the same concept with um, Red Pill, Blue Pill by Chris Ramsey. Not really as concerned with that one. It must. It's not going to be the same deck, obviously. I do wish he would have found it like loaded and loaded the cards into a deck but have already taken out the uh, jokers and the ad cards as if like and then he goes and picks up the other two and puts those in the deck I think that would have been a kind of a cool way to do it um, like hey well it's not completely right let me go to grab those and put those back in the deck now that it's completely full something along those lines it wouldn't have made it like a very big deal or even if he wouldn't have thrown it off so far if he just would have set it off the side um, yeah that was that was really cool. I don't know how he loaded it through the cellophane. Like, clearly, you know when he loaded it. That wasn't the hard part. It was when his hand was like this, and then he was putting them in, as if it was like a Marlowe Tilt type of deal. But I don't know how he did that. Like, I wish I could look at the tuck, the tuck box. Man, that was... That was honestly... Pat Patrick, if you see this, beautiful, beautiful work. And you have to let me know... How you did that freaking Erden Ace change vanish like up the freaking... Holy crap. Yeah, so for those of you watching AGT, please make sure to keep Patrick Coon when it gets to live votes. Please make sure to vote for this man. Dude is insane. And the greatest thing about Patrick Coon, one, he's so nonchalant about everything. Like there's no just like... Shin Lim and him and Patrick Coon have very different styles. Shin Lim is very theatrical with his I mean it makes sense for his personality with his hair with its piano skills it's just kind of who his personality is Patrick is just just like he's the dude you just sit around and watch movies with and play board games and you're just chilling at home and it's so funny with like his presentation it's never like ta-da it's just like yeah so I just fooled the crap out of you and that's let me just move on to the next thing and it kills me I love his presentation like that it's it's so beautiful, so beautiful. So, if y'all know where the frick to find that change, that freaking oh my gosh, I'm still not over that. Holy crap! Yeah, and th what I was going back to before, the great thing about this, no one goes into AGT not knowing what the rest of the rounds are going to be. Like you're not going to say like let's just say there's five rounds, which I know there's more, but for hypothetically speaking there's five rounds you go into it knowing what you're uh, what you're going to do for all five of those rounds and you don't put the best one first because the great thing is you have to have something great for the first round for the audition then you're going to get better consecutively for the next five or at least you should that way everyone keeps you in the game this is his audition this was so beautiful if this is his audition I cannot wait for the next round. So, if you guys want to see me react to the next round so you guys can see it, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell. And if you guys like learning all types of sleight of hand just like this, this is actually what this channel is about. This is actually just my first reaction um, to anything. So, for the most part, I teach sleight of hand. I teach a lot of these moves. So, if you want to learn them, this is going to be the place for you. I'll leave my magic trick tutorials playlist in the description below. You guys can learn all of those. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. This is Card Perfect. Signing off.